Harry and Meghan look deeply in love as they reveal their official royal wedding photos taken by Mario Testino's protege and say they feel so lucky to have been able to share their day. These are the three extraordinary official photographs released by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle today showing the happy couple madly in love in the most bold and intimate royal wedding portraits ever seen. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who wed on Saturday during a moving multicultural ceremony that reflected the diversity of modern Britain, said they feel so lucky to have shared their big day with 120,000 people in Windsor and millions watching around the world. The most striking image shows Meghan sitting between Harry's legs on the east terrace of Windsor Castle as the prince looks smiling at the camera while his new bride laughs at someone to their left. Even the formal family wedding shot featuring the Queen has an informal feel and the bride's mother Doria Ragland, 62, stands proudly next to her daughter looking firmly part of the royal family firm. The final image shows Prince George and Princess Charlotte grinning cheekily with the other bridesmaids and page boys with Harry and Meghan both wearing wide and clearly joyful smiles. Meghan and Harry's choice of official images can be seen as yet another stage of their royal revolution because they contrast with royal portraits of the past. The couple were captured by Alexei Lubomirsky, 42, the protege of photographer Mario Testino who was famously beloved by his mother Princess Diana. The images were taken by Alexei Lubomirsky at Windsor Castle following the carriage procession. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex would like to thank everyone who took part in the celebrations of their wedding on Saturday. They feel so lucky to have been able to share their day with all those gathered in Windsor and also all those who watched the wedding on television across the UK, Commonwealth, and around the world. Their Royal Highnesses are delighted with these official portraits taken by Alexei Lubomirsky and are happy to be able to share them today. They would also like to say thank you for all of the generous messages of support they have received. Mr. Lubomirsky said, It has been an incredible honor and privilege to document the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's inspiring journey of love, hope and family from the engagement photos, all the way through to the official wedding and family portraits on Saturday. This has been a beautiful chapter in my career and life, that I will happily never forget. And their U.S.-influenced and multicultural wedding ceremony with gospel choir and fiery Chicago preacher's sermon was something conservative royals had never experienced before. Mr. Lubomirsky, 42, was chosen after he photographed the now newlyweds on their engagement in a series of stark images released in December. The pictures taken at Frogmore House in Windsor included one intimate black and white portrait of the couple embracing. This is where the couple held their evening reception on Saturday night. Body language expert Judy James said at the time that the couple looked so in love in the three new official royal portraits viewers felt like they were intruding on a private moment. Meghan has been hailed for her part in the most diverse royal wedding ever. In a candid biography published on the Queen's official website, Meghan highlights a speech she gave at the 2015 New N Women Conference, in which she forcefully stated her guiding principles. The profile recalls how volunteering in a soup kitchen in LA's Skid Row, and campaigning against a sexist washing-up liquid advert, helped shape her lifelong commitment to social justice and women's empowerment. The new page on Buckingham Palace's online guide to the royals lists the Duchess's interests, saying she has a keen awareness of social issues. Last night a source told the Mail that while Meghan was keen to make an impact, she would not rush into anything, and was very conscious of what it means to be a royal. The public statement of her values comes after she insisted on walking halfway down the aisle alone, and refused to be given away. As details of her new role were revealed, it emerged that, after a tumultuous build-up to the wedding, a tearful Prince Harry praised his wife for having navigated everything with such grace, adding, We make such a great team. Meghan made a speech at their private reception, referring to Harry my husband, which made him blush, and thanking Prince Charles for his welcome to the family. Her wedding dress designer. Givenchy's Claire Waite Keller, revealed that even the women working on the garment were kept in the dark about who it was for. Hairdresser Serge Norman revealed it took him just 45 minutes to create Meghan's messy bun using a packet of hairpins that cost only a couple of pounds. The couple's first dance was to Land of a Thousand Dances by Wilson Pickett and a worse for where George Clooney was among the last to stagger off the dance floor. The newlyweds spent last night at a mystery romantic bolt hole, with the Queen apparently looking after Meghan's pet beagle guy while they are away. Yesterday the Duchess of Sussex's name was already on the court circular, the royal family's record of engagements. Tomorrow she will attend her first official engagement as a royal, at a Buckingham Palace garden party to mark Charles's 70th birthday. Meghan has, sources say, already become a strong influence on the direction of Harry's public work, particularly his championing of women's issues. The couple plan to become Commonwealth champions, to the delight of the Queen. A trip to Australia, New Zealand. Fiji and Tonga in October is being discussed at the highest level and aides are promising that the second half of this year will be incredibly busy for the pair. They will also take a couple of short trips before the summer, including a visit to Dublin. Harry, 
33, is yet to visit Ireland but Meghan, 36, spent time there as an ambassador for the One Young World Summit in 2014. But it is the visit to Australia, where Harry's Invictus Games for injured servicemen and women is being held in Sydney, that is expected to showcase the Duke and Duchess as a new royal power couple yesterday. A senior aide said everyone, not least the bride and groom, had been deeply moved by how well Saturday's wedding went. I think that although the day was unquestionably royal in every way it felt like just the two of them were there, said another. When they looked into each other's eyes it was clear nothing else mattered. Saturday evening's riotous party was described as the perfect end to a perfect day. Meghan gave a speech in which she grinned broadly as she referred to Harry as my husband. I think he was even more emotional than her, a source said. Meghan also expressed her gratitude to her mother and to her friends but the person she really singled out was the Prince of Wales. She has been so touched by how welcoming he has been to her and her mother. The couple spent their first night of married life in Windsor Castle's Lancaster Tower before enjoying a night at a mystery location. But they will return to work this week, having postponed their honeymoon.